Hello and welcome to another build order for the Chinese. This time we're looking at a Song Dynasty into military opening. Let's get started. Like always, we begin by getting our Imperial official and building a mill right next to the town center. We can also start building a house and the villager who's building it will go to wood. So now we have five on food and one on wood. You don't have to build the uh, the mill right next to your town center. Can also be at your berries. I just prefer it at the town center. Don't use any weapon for your official, and start supervising your mill. The next villager will go to wood. Also for this build order, I would advise against using any kind of force dropping for your food villagers. In the last build order, it made it a bit faster, but for this one, it's really not worth it. Use a hotkey for these five villagers here, uh, for the food villagers, and the next two villagers will go to food. You'll need the hotkey for these five guys later. Always keep an eye on your tax gold, and once it reaches 20, you can collect it and supervise again. And we can speed up a little. Always get your new villagers on still living sheep. Once you have 7 villages on food, the next 2 villages will go to gold. And as you can see here, this gold is rather exposed, so if you want to, you can get an outpost next to it. Like if you feel threatened by, let's say, a Mongol player or something like that, then yeah. You can get an outpost rather early. It throws back the build order just a little bit, but not too much. It's not too big of an investment. Once you have two villagers on gold, the next villager will go to wood. And in the meantime, just keep scouting for some more sheep. Like always. The next villager will build the Barbican of the Sun next to your hunt. It doesn't have to be next to your hunt, it can also be next to your berries if you... If you feel like you cannot get your hunt this time, for whatever reasons, but... I kind of prefer it next to the hunt. It will be just enough. If you only queue up one more villager, it will just be enough resources once once she reaches here to start building the Barbican. The next three villagers will go to food. And let's speed up again. Always uh, still keep an eye on your tax gold. And as soon as, you, uh, as you've got enough resources, you can use these five villagers that were on a hotkey to build your second landmark. Also this house, don't use any of your wood villagers, use one of your food villagers. Once you have 10 villagers on food, all your next villagers will go to wood. I'm saying all villagers because uh, you will need until about 11 or, or 10, like 10, 11, 12 villagers on wood. So all you have to remember is send all of the all other villagers to wood. Because until then there is a lot that can happen. Well anyway, as you can see, soon we'll have enough resources for our second landmark. There we go, and soon we gotta pause again. Because there we go. So, once we are 21 population, we still need to be able to queue up 3 more villagers. So, just gather enough food, maybe even by force dropping. What, am I, what I'm gonna do very soon, there we go. So now you can send these 5 villagers that were gathering food under your town center or your mill next to the town center to food um, at your hunt to gather, uh, to gather your deer. Collect one last tax gold and let your official supervise your lumber camp. These five villagers, they are building uh, your second landmark. Um, you can send all of them uh, back to food, but never send all five of them to wood. But you can spread it out a little. For example, you can send three to food and two to wood. That's always possible. 
that's kind of what I prefer. You can also spread it out like four to one, or two to three, or two to three, something like that. Doesn't really matter. But never five to wood. At this point, we can start building our military buildings. In this case, an archery range, because we want to make use of Song Dynasty. So we can get some Jogenu later. And some barracks, because Jogenu can be pretty susceptible to horsemen. So why not get in some spearmen later? We also want a blacksmith. And the goal is basically to start all of these three buildings before six minutes. In this case, it's just barely happening, but still. Once you have 25 population, you can get your second Imperial official. In this case, I'm supervising this archer range, which is kind of a mistake, so... Don't copy that. Anyway, now we're getting our, uh, our village, so we can make full use of Song Dynasty by getting the village, Jugenu, and the faster villager production. Anyway, from here on, it really depends on what your opponent is doing, what your game plan is, like always. From here on, you basically have to react. You, um, very soon you can get the Imperial Examinations, some blacksmith upgrades like steeled arrows, even maybe siege engineering, if you want to go full offense. Or some, or upgrade your spearmen. Well, anyway, I hope you like this build order, and if so, consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you in a future video. Bye-bye.